Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, different kind of listeners which are available in Servlet. Uh, suppose uh, attribute is added or removed or replaced uh, in uh, Servlet context or session or uh, request, uh, the event will be generated. That you can uh, listen using uh, different listeners which are available in the Servlets. Okay. Uh, suppose uh, in uh, Servlet context, if attribute is added or removed or replaced, uh, Servlet context attribute event will be generated. Uh, this event you can listen using servlet context attribute listener okay and uh, in session object uh, if attribute is added or uh, removed or replaced then http session binding event will be generated this event you can listen using http session attribute listener uh, like that uh, in uh, request uh, if attribute is added or removed or replaced then servlet request attribute event will be generated uh, this event uh, you can listen using servlet request attribute listener okay uh, when servlet context or web context is uh, initialized or uh, destroyed that time servlet context event will be generated uh, this event you can listen using servlet context listener and uh, when uh, session is created or invalidated or session is timeout that time http session event will be generated uh, this event you can listen using http session uh, listener okay and uh, if uh, session is about to activation or passivation that time http session event will be generated and uh, we can listen this event using http session activation listener okay and uh, uh, suppose uh, the object implements http session binding listener and that object uh, if we bound to the session that time uh, that object will get notified okay and uh, the object uh, unbound from the session that time also it will get notified because uh, the object implements http session binding listener okay and uh, what event will be generated is uh, http session binding event and uh, next is uh, whenever a request is initialized or request is destroyed that time uh, servlet request event will be uh, generated that event uh, you can listen using servlet request listener okay and uh, so events are basically occurrence of something uh, changing the state of an object is known as uh, event and uh, uh, we can perform uh, some important task whenever uh, some event occur okay like uh, counting uh, total current logged in user uh, creating table of uh, database at the time of uh, deploying the project and creating database connection uh, object etc okay and uh, I have created uh, uh, videos for uh, uh, each listeners. Okay, if you want to know more about this uh, listeners, please log into my channel and uh, watch those videos. And thanks for watching. Bye.